everybody i hope you're well and safe at home with your families and enjoying this beautiful weather i'm here with buddy and we both miss you very very much and i'm here to read you one of my favorite stories and that is there's a snake in my school by david williams i hope you enjoy it mr bright had told all the children in school that day it was bring your own pet to school day Everybody rushed into the playground to meet the animals. There was a stupidly cute gerbil, a tiny goldfish, a fat cat, a 100-year-old tortoise and a tall dog. Last to arrive, as usual, was a little girl called Miranda. She was riding on the back of an enormous slithery snake. Meet Penelope, my pet python, announced Miranda. On seeing the snake, the other children screamed, Ah! Miranda loved being different. She always stood out at school with her individual take on the school uniform, her cartwheels down the corridors, and her funny answers in class. What ended in 1945? 1944. Ha ha ha! A python is a rather unusual pet, but Miranda had Penelope had so much fun playing together. For the little girl, the snake would pretend to be a scarf, a balloon, a hula hoop, a telescope, and sometimes when they were both feeling particularly mischievous, a third arm. Come on and give her a tickle, encouraged Miranda, but the other children were far too scared. Penelope was a python after all, and python do eat people. All the pets were frightened too. The large dog yanked on his lead, sending his tiny owner flying. The goldfish tried to hide some behind some water. The tortoise made a rather slow run for it. And the cute gerbil flashed her gnashes and didn't look so cute anymore. The fat cat just carried on napping. Miranda slid down on her snake. The little girl tickled her python under the chin and the snake smiled. See, she's so friendly, said Miranda. Soon everyone was gathered around to watch and to marvel at Penelope. The python loved the attention and made a climbing frame for the children to climb on. Steps for them to step up a fireman's pole for them to slide down and Penelope even helped the children to for their numbers although she could only go up to nine. One add eight is nine. This was turning into the best day at school ever. But then Miss Bloat, the headmistress, thundered into the playground. There's a snake in my school, she shouted. Miss Bloat didn't like the animals much, or the children. It's bringing your pet to school day, spluttered Mr Bright. But Penelope is my pet, said Miranda. Miranda, I should have known you would be different. A snake is not a pet. It's a menace, snapped Miss Bloat. Mr Bright, all these filthy beasts are confiscated. All the girls and boys shouted, no! As the headmistress stuffed their pets into the cupboard, lost property cupboard, except for Penelope the snake, Miss Blow had other ideas for, for Penelope. This disgusting thing is coming with me, bellowed the headmistress. With that, she dragged the poor python along the corridor to her office. Where are you going to put Penelope? asked Miranda. In the bin. No! Miss Bloke crammed the snake into her bin, slammed the lid shut and then plonked herself down on top of the python couldn't escape. The bin rattled and rattled, but Penelope was trapped. A snake in my school indeed. Get back to your lessons, she said. Down the stairs in the classroom, tears rolled down Miranda's cheeks. All the children were sad to have their pets taken away, but no one was sadder than Miranda. The little girl feared she would never, ever see Penelope again. 
At the end of the day, Miranda dashed upstairs to Miss Bloke's office to try and make her change her mind. There was no answer. So slowly, Miranda pushed the door open, only to see... Penelope sitting at the headmistress's desk. M Miranda ran towards her pet and gave her a humongous hug. Miss Bloat was nowhere to be seen, so the girls grabbed the key on the desk, ran to the lost property cupboard as fast as she could and unlocked it. The animals were overjoyed to be set free. Then Miranda and all the pets slid down Penelope's back to the playground. Whoosh! And then the children shouted, Hooray! Penelope entertained everybody again. She made a seesaw for them, a swing for them to swing on, a wheel for them to roll in, and a skipping rope for them to skip with. Penelope even helped some of the younger children with their alphabet, although it was hard to do an X. As for Miss Bloat, she had completely disappeared. So Mr Bright has made, was made headmaster. Now the children were allowed to bring in all their favourite animals, whenever they wanted. The school became home for every sort of fantastic creature. An ostrich, a giraffe, a tiger, a gorilla, an elephant, a kangaroo, a crocodile, a grizzly bear, and even a colony of penguins. But the star attraction was always Penelope. Though Miranda had noticed there was something different about her python. There was a bulge. A big bulge in the snake's tummy. A bulge the shape of Miss Bloat. But the little girl thought it was best not to say anything. I hope you enjoyed my story and I'm sure you did. Keep safe and I'll see you soon.